This is the way information travels across the Internet today. There are three different conversions from analog to digital signals between your Internet service provider, your telephone company, and your computer. My first Internet was taking a black rotary phone, getting my acoustic coupler, having the thing hooked up to my Tandy 1000 desktop computer. You dial the phone on your rotary phone, then you plug the handset into the acoustic coupler, and then you had like this little uh, um, all text menu, which is where people got together and read messages and left messages. Key, key takeaway here, I'm really old. When the internet was brought into my house, it was this strange notion of, oh, well, you can look at a thing that you like but it's a new way to look at it. I think I had like one of those like clamshell, like tangerine MacBooks, and you could plug the internet in. And it was early enough you're like, hmm, okay, I can connect to the internet. How am I gonna use this? I remember my dad getting AOL and sitting me down and explaining that this was something you pay for by the minute. And so we could only go on it in short amounts of time. If you've spent any time online, you know how painfully slow it can be waiting for graphics and audio and video to download. Oh yeah, back then you had to negotiate between talking on the phone time and using the phone to call your local access provider time. The internet came over the phone line and you, you know, paid a monthly fee for it uh, just like anything else. Oh man, logging on. That's right, it took forever and the <laughs> the fact that you were basically the first people online, um, you, you could tell like, well, this isn't very fast. And I would just be sitting there like, looking at like a blank white screen and that was when I first started, I was like, oh, like why is it taking so long? There was gated times of like, hey, this is internet time, but like also we need to call your grandparents, so what? get off the internet. Um, and that lasted for a really long time. God help you if your mom picked up the phone because then it's all over and you gotta start again. Because we had one phone line in the beginning and mom would pick up and hear the and you're like, Mom, no, I'm kicked off. I was in the middle of an AOL chat room game. <laughs> Think of the information highway as a real highway for a moment. Audio, video, and other information is broken up into little packets, like cars, and then sent along different lanes and highways to be assembled at the other end. Well, the internet for us, especially at the beginning of the web browsing era of the internet, was so amazing. So one of the first things I ever did on the internet was look up Sailor Moon. Um, I would just look up Sailor Moon pictures and images, and then I would print them whole, like print the web pages. Then I would put them like in binders, and then in a three hole punch binder or like in sleeves and I would just like look and flip through them. And that was pretty much all I did. <laughs> Big part of my early internet days was like sound bites from movies. And we would just like download them. You download a 15 second audio clip and you finally get it and it would just be like Chris Farley singing like, fat guy in a little coat. And that's it. And, you, and you'd be like, thank you hum humanity, we've done it. <laughs> we got this. I looked up the status of my friends online. We could, it sounds like dirty. You could <laughs> finger people. Whoa, I know. that crazy. <laughs> so you would just type in finger and then their login name and it would tell you whether they were online. Could they deny your fingering? No. <laughs> you, if they were there, you knew they were there and you were like, haha, I fingered you. <laughs> I know, there's no way to respond to this. I think I was like 12 years old, so I think I mostly hung out in chat rooms talking to other 12-year-olds or people pretending to be like 14 or 15 years old. I would find these mysterious things called things about fishing with a pH, and I'd just poke around and see people were talking about, and they would be like, uh, ASL, you know, how old are you? And I'm like, oh, well, I'm 13, and oh, well, you don't even know what fishing is. I do too, it's a band. I totally know what it is. The bigger the file you want, the more cars or packets you force onto that road. And everything ends up traveling on what's known as the Internet's backbone, the super high-speed network that connects all the other networks. I remember somebody, we were sitting in like a, in a class, and I remember the couple kids in front of me, and they were laughing and giggling. And I remember them just typing in naked people. And I don't know what came up. I mean, the Internet was so slow back then, probably they didn't see anything. So we definitely had moments 
where like there would be like a stray aim message like in the background that I forgot to close and it was like, oh, why are your friends cursing? What is yeah. that? Yeah, oh man. What, the, the this is who you're hanging out with? Leaving like, a window open on accident? Yeah, no good. When I just recently went to visit my parents, I found old AOL CDs. They kept them. <laughs> They kept their AOL CDs, it's crazy. I mean, this is one of the older ones. It's AOL 9.0 optimized. And um, I bless my parents' hearts that they, that they thought that they may need this and, and they kept it. 